Coming up next, the Rockets taking on the Grizzlies. For the Houston Rockets, they started the season with a victory. Tonight, out to make it a win streak with number two, Grizzlies, Rockets. And we'll be right back for the tip-off. And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Along with the all-star team of Stan Van Gundy, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Shorter rotation player, next man up mentality though. It does shrink their margin for error just a bit. Missing a valued contributor. That can be a challenge. Now we'll see how they overcome it. And here's Memphis's starting group. Manning the backcourt, we'll see Moran and Payne. Then it's Jaron Jackson. Then it's Williams, and it's LaRavia in at the power forward position. And for the Rockets, Van Vliet and Green, they're manning the backcourt. At small forward and power forward, it's Brooks and Smith. And it's Shangoon in at the five, roaming the paint. Very early in the season, but a lot of excitement still in the air, Grant. No question, B.A. I mean, the fan base will usually carry it until they're... team is mathematically eliminated fans in this league are so passionate about their teams and that's one of the things that makes the NBA so great now here's Shangun. he played a great game against Charlotte Van Vliet against Moran four on the clock late clock Houston's got to hurry and Shangun throw it down the textbook work by Shangun, setting a solid screen and then getting open Here's Moran. Jackson with a screen on Van Vliet. Moran, the pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Yeah, that's a nice dish. A lot of times the best way to put the ball in the right spot is with that bounce pass. Pass to Green. Now Brooks. To the inside. Here's Shangun. Drains it from nine feet away. You've got to love how Shingun attacks on the interior. And it's Bain with a ball for the Grizzlies. They defeated Utah in their last game. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. Yeah, that kind of performance on the road really speaks to their preparation and mental fortitude. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? Wow, that is an impressive vertical for a point guard. My goodness. The free throw drops for Moran. Will coach one of the more electric players in the NBA, Ja Moran. Yeah, that's for sure, Brian. High-flying, acrobatic at the rim, just a supreme athlete. And he is, without a doubt, one of the most exciting players this league has to offer. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Shangun, a screen on Williams. Five on the clock. Here's Brooks. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Vince Williams. You have to respect Brooks' approach to the game. He's always looking for little ways to improve and wants every year to be his best. And he knocks down the first one. Stan, certain NBA teams take on the identity of their home. Like the Grizzlies, for example. They call Memphis Grind City. Well, Brian, I think it's a perfect fit. Hard-working people in a hard-working city, and they want a hard-working team. He does not get the second one. And Grant, you look at the Rockets' additions over the last year or two. There's an emphasis on toughness. Yeah, toughness both physical and mental. Those are the kinds of veterans they've brought in. And that extends, of course, to the coaching staff, too. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Smith. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. 
And let's take this time to bring up the list of last season's elite shot blocking teams. The fourth spot held by the Grizzlies. Well, last season, this was a team that prided itself on protecting the rim. They were not an easy group to score on inside. The Grizzlies have gone three of three so far from the floor. Here's the Ravia. Back to Morant. Jackson with a screen on Van Vliet. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Shingun with a steal. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. You have to be aware of Jackson Jr. He's a former defensive player of the year and an elite shot blocker. Morant, the pass to Jackson. And he lobs it up. And then Morant with the dunk. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see time more out, dunking? Out. Wow, that is an impressive vertical Started. for a point guard. My goodness. And we've got a timeout called by Ime Udoka. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. Smith in the high post. Pass to Brooks. On the wing, Green, guarded by Bain. Here's Shangun. No good off the back of the rim. I like where he took that shot. The D was just too strong. And that one is stuffed right through. And not settling for a jump shot. Bain right at the rim. Outside, Green. Out of bounds, it'll be Memphis's ball. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Now here's Bain. He's coming off a 13-point game against Utah. Well, and he was also doing a great job feeding his teammates. Racking up the assists. So important to team chemistry. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. shing has got eight. Well, what a quarter he's had. You can tell he's in the flow. They should be looking for him every possession. Back to Morant. Pass to Williams. And lead against Morant. Count that bucket. Seven points in the game. Well, that's just a great dribble move by Morant. Quick and very shifty. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Here's Brooks. Tips it up. And it's Bain with the rebound. Memphis leading by five. Here's Morant. He picked up 27 points in their last win against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. And he didn't just put up big points. He beat everyone to the boards. And it's Laravia missing. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. This is the first they're seeing of Memphis. And in a series of the have-nots last year, they came out on the losing end, really looking for some improvement here. And it's Green missing. Memphis has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Laravia passes to Jackson. Now Bain, Brooks defending, pass to Jackson. And here's Morant outside. Sinks it from distance. Well, normally Morant is scoring off the dribble. It's good to see him being effective off the ball. And Ime 
Udoka has called timeout, and we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. Smith in the high post. Yet to see a basket. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Yeah, pretty slick move by Smith. You gotta have a strong handle to go up against NBA defenders. Outside, Williams. Back to Moran. Moran with the slam! Well, this is what the fans want to see. Morant showing off all of his superb athleticism. Brooks, the pass to Van Vliet. Back to Brooks. The shot, no good. Memphis leading by eight. Jackson with it. Van Vliet covering. Pass to Morant. Oh, got a piece of it. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Rockets showing improvement. Head coach Ime Udoka said, quote, when you rely on your young guys, you're constantly trying to instill habits that will carry them for the rest of their careers. It's mistakes and tendencies you have to try to break continually. Just staying positive. We see glimpses of how close we can be. All right, Ali, thanks for that. Now here's Van Vliet. And he can't get that one. Here's the Rivia. Pass to Bain. Three-pointer. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Rockets trail by nine. And here's Van Vliet. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Shangun passes to Van Vliet. Yes, and it's Shangun picking up the assist. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Outside Bain. Back to Morant. Just five to shoot. It's hauled in by Houston. Coming off a win against the Hornets. It always helps when your opponent turns the ball over that many times. I thought it was the deciding factor overall. Yeah, you got to think Coach will show this one as an example of what not to do. You got to take care of the ball. Now here's Moran. He's got 12. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Dylan Brooks. You know, Coach, when you watch Ja Morant play, it's hard to think of anyone else as explosive as he is. Yeah, Brian, he can make a defender look like he's standing still. The burst that Morant has with his first step is unrivaled. Probably the best burst in the entire league. Truly is a human highlight reel in this modern day. And he makes a first. Recently, player health has been the big talking point around the Memphis Grizzlies stand. Yeah, B.A., look, and it's really a shame to have such a talented, dynamic team have to deal with all those constant what-ifs and have their seasons so affected by things outside of their control. It's tough. Well, the way that Moran is able to twist and contort through a defense, he is one of a kind in that regard. And stolen by Clark. It's smart on the wing. Launches it. Eason pulls it in. Rockets trail by six. Outside, green. Over smart. And the Rockets tack on two more. And you can tell Green has a good feel for his game. He knows how to find his shots. Outside Bain. 
Pass to Smart. And so the ball out of bounds. Smart tucks it last. Yeah, what a disconnect. Sloppy play like that is something they can expect to come up in the film session. Memphis making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. Houston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Shangun with it. Outside, Green. Shot, shot. Oh, he packs it down right over Jaron Jackson. And I'll tell you what, I mean, he is a creative, explosive finisher at the rim. Green loves putting on a show. Now smart. Nine points in his last outing. And a strong finish with two hands. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you got to love that kind of effort. Getting in there and fighting through the defense. Shangun, the screen. And here's Green from the arc. Connects from downtown. Green's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, and Green has tons of confidence in his three-point shot. And it was on display right there as he knocked it down. Down low. And the dunk by Jackson. There's Jackson Jr. with that huge catch radius. You can put that pass almost anywhere. Here's Shepard, defended by Smart. Thompson outside. Shangun in the post. Jackson on him. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Since being selected in the 21 draft, Alper and Shangun has really improved. Yeah, from nine points per game as a rookie to over 20 in his third year, Shingun has averaged about five assists per game over a season. A huge number right. for a 6'11 right. post guy. He is so skilled. No good on that one. Yeah, Shingun's aggressive style is what gets him here. Derek Rose, he's checked in for Memphis. And he sinks the second. Well, Grant, after three straight drafts high in the lottery, the Rockets got to 500 in 2024. Yeah, and I love how they signed some vets in the summer of 23. Houston decided we want to win now, and I wish more teams did that. Now here's Bain. Five points in the game. Back to Jackson from deep. It's rebounded by Shangun. Shangun's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Shepard. And he hits it to tie the game. Oh, when we talk about the future of Shepard, scoring inside is very important to take his game to the next level. Rose, the pass to Clark. Smart for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Outside, Green. Pass to Shengu. And it's stolen by Rose. Here's Jackson. He's now one for two with that bucket. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Shepard. Here's Green. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. They'll pin that one on Marcus Smart. I love it. Slashing his way inside. Green forcing the issue. Houston shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he drops the first. And both free throws good for Green. And for Green, it's about trying to be consistent. He has talent, and he needs to play to his strengths. Bain against Thompson. Clark with a screen on Thompson. 
Two on the clock. There's the block. Alperon Shingun. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Houston. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. All right, guys, for the Rockets, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they dictated the pace to this point, looking to run at every opportunity. And so it's Rose with it. He brings it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. So on the floor for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Derrick Rose is out there with Marcus Smart. Then it's G.G. Jackson. Then it's Edie. And it's Clark in at the four. Now here's Jackson. Shot clock at five. Oh, Smart drives. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Well, Smart is very good at being sudden, at taking off the moment he sees a gap. Outside Whitmore, and it's stolen by Rose. Jackson outside. Pass to Clark. It's stolen. Thompson outside. Here's Shepard, guarded by Rose. Back to Thompson. And here's Eason. Just five on the clock. And here's Shepard for three. Can't get it to drop. Memphis leading. Clark finds Rose. Jackson the screen. Rose with the bucket. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And the Rockets shooting a fantastic 57%. Landale with a screen to the middle. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And guys, you cannot allow that in a close game. You have to make it harder than that. Here's Edie. Still no points. Inside. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Memphis. Well, their game plan has been very effective so far. They're working the ball inside, putting constant pressure on the defense. And, of course, taking it inside, always a great game plan. And I'm curious if there'll be an adjustment from the defensive end. Maybe sag off some shooters a little. And that one falls for Jackson. After three straight playoff appearances, the Grizzlies sadly missed the postseason in 2024. You know, really, by no fault of their own B.A., injuries ruined what fans were hoping would be a big year for them. You know, it just goes to show there's no safe bets in this league. Memphis leading by five. And here's Clark for three. And it's Whitmore with the rebound. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Wow. Missed the easy one right there, right at the rim, but came up empty. Rose outside. Pass to Jackson. On the wing, Conchar. Here's Shepard. Conchar covers. No good on the triple. The Grizzlies have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Smart looking around. Back to Jackson. Thompson with a steal. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that boy's going to hit his head on the rim one day. Oh. Pass to Clark. 
Jackson, left side. Shoots over Eason. Jackson can't get it to go. Rockets trail by three. And here's Whitmore, defended by Jackson, and stolen by Clark. Rose, left side. And the dunk by Jackson. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. Here's Landale. Pass to Whitmore. And he dunks it down. An impressive athlete. This rookie Whitmore loves getting inside and hammering it home. Rose outside. Now here's Jackson, defended by Eason. And the dunk by Jackson. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Pass to Landale. Now here's Whitmore. Count it. Good. Whitmore's got four points in the quarter. Athleticism showing through from Whitmore. He doesn't need much room at all to operate in close. Clark, the pass to Smart. And there's the drive. Smart punches it home off the drive. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Yeah, I'd consider calling timeout right away after that one. The defense has to be better there. Outstanding energy from Smart. I mean, pushing himself to get up the floor. Here's Whitmore. Landale with a screen. Three-pointer. And it's Whitmore missing. And so Jackson Jr. will bring it up for Memphis. Rose with it. Uses the glass on the layup. And it's a nine-point Memphis lead. They have no answer defensively inside. Thompson passes to Landale. Pass to Shepard. And Clark with a block. Now here's Rose, guarded closely. Conchar, outside. Eason against Jackson. Clock at six. It's smart on the wing. Give him eight. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Rockets trail by nine. Pass to Shepard. Landale with a screen. For three. They get it back. Thompson outside. Now here's Whitmore. Defended by Jackson. And stolen by Clark. And the dunk by Jackson. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And that is why you want to run off turnovers. Get down the floor before the defense is set. Here's Shepard. After the basket by Memphis on the other end. Big time two-hand slam. And right on top of the defender, too. That's got to feel good. Memphis leading by nine. And we've got a timeout from Taylor Jenkins. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Well, we have a chance to hear from Shams Charania. He's calling in right now. Shams, great to have you on, bud. Thanks, guys. And the Rockets got their guy with the number three overall pick, Reed Shepard. He brings elite shooting, blue blood basketball pedigree. He has immediately made himself a key cog in their rotation. I'm told the Rockets have high hopes for Reed Shepard for years to come. A lot on his plate, without question. All right, Chams, thanks for the update. And a new group getting ready for the Rockets. Shangun checked in for Landale. Smith comes in for Eason. Brooks, he's checked in for Whitmore. And Fred Van Vliet is subbed in for Shepard. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. LaRavia comes in for Jackson. Williams is checked in for Conchar. And it's Morant in for Rose. Now here's Morant. He's got 14. 
The three is up. And Morant laces the triple. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian Jabari Smith Jr. is making some serious strides, and Coach Ime Udoka praised him and said his all-around game, his confidence, great defensive versatility. He's starting to handle and make plays for others. Shooting is a huge asset for him, but we want him to post up and find his mid-range shots as well, where he can rise up over guys. Brian? He is certainly one to watch, Allie. Thank you. Pass to Jackson. Smart with the ball. Defended by Thompson. Jackson, the screen. And he's going for the oop here. Throw it down on the lob. An opportunistic player. When Jackson sees an alley-oop opportunity, he doesn't pass it up. Thompson outside. Smith outside. Shangun against Jackson. Out of bounds. It'll be Grizzlies ball. All right, let's use this time to check out the teams with the most steals last year. The Grizzlies fourth. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Jalen Green, he's checked in for the Rockets. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Baines checked in. Memphis leading by 14. Morant, the pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Well, Jackson Jr. is an athlete. A big man with some big-time hops. The Rockets have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Shangun, a screen on Bain. To the paint. Will it go? And Shangun with the lay-in. Shangun's got 13 now. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Yeah, when you have a guy playing like he has been recently, he's got to be the first option on every possession. And it's Morant missing. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for Houston. It's a 14-point game. Green against Bain. And the dunk by Jackson. Yeah, you have to admire the size and strength of Jackson Jr. Just fantastic work establishing himself inside and slamming it down. Now here's Green. A 20-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. And another key for them was his rebounding. Just a great effort. Shot clock at six. Van Vliet, the pass to Smith. No good with the triple. Risky strategy here. I mean, shifting their offense more to the outside. Mm, we'll see. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Well, when you look at the forwards in this league, there are a lot more Grand Hill types out there these days, partner. Well, thank you for the nice words, B.A. Uh, of course, I took pride in my overall game. And over the last few decades or so, we've seen a bunch of guys playing the three, four, and five who can pass, dribble, and shoot. So it's fun to watch the game evolve. And that one misses. Rockets trail by 18. Inside. And stolen by Williams. Here's Laravia. Offline with a three. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Houston with another miss. Memphis has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Throws it up high. Shane Goon with a steal. And here's the fast break. Brooks from outside. The Grizzlies pull it in. Laravia has got four rebounds in the game. Moran against Shane Goon. Pass to LaRavia. Fires from deep. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists in the game. 102 left in the second period. Smith outside. Down low. Here's Green. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Grizzlies lead by 21. Back to Morant. To the inside. 
Shane Goon with a steal. Shot on the wing. Good on the shot. Brooks has got six. 29 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Morant looking for an opening. Into the lane. And then Morant with the jam. Everything Morant does is electric. He causes so many problems with his movement. Pass to Smith. Now Green. Guarded by Bain. For three, Smith. The shot comes out. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's the Grizzlies just dominating this one. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. You know for the Rockets, hey, their spirits are high. They have a chance to start the season on a winning streak. Build up that momentum, guys. The way they looked in that first game, it certainly wouldn't be a surprise. Changing gears now. Fellas, we need to talk about how dominant John ja Morant looked in that first half. Well, I mean, what is there left to say about John ja Morant? He's dynamic, he's electric, relentless on the offensive and defensive end, impossible to contain. The list goes on and on and on, Shaq. If I could have moved like that, Kenny, I'd have 19 rings. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. His whole first half looked like a highlight reel, rising up and just owning the rim. Well, they've got to build a wall immediately because he'll just keep attacking like that if they don't. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Green is the two with Brooks at the three. Smith and Shingoon play together in the front court, and it's Van Vliet in at the point. That's the five for Houston right now. Rockets trail by 21. Pass to Shingoon. Here's Green. Shingoon in the post. Defended by Jackson. Shangun, no good. Excellent coverage defensively, making it hard on him. And it's Laravia missing. Green, the pass to Van Vliet. Bain against Green. Pass to Van Vliet. Shangun, a screen on Moran. Clock at four. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, and Jackson with the block. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. That halftime break didn't seem to do them any favors. Starting off the second half with three straight misses. That one falls. Yeah, so skilled offensively. Getting the ball in his hands is generally a good idea. Pass to Laravia. Back to Morant. Launches a three. Smith with the rebound. Well, four failed attempts to start this half. Not what they wanted out of the locker room. Now here's Brooks. He's guarded closely. And that one's good. Brooks has got eight. And just as tough as they come, Dylan Brooks battling for two points. Outside, Williams. Back to Morant. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. Well, when you look at what he's provided them on the offensive end, it's been an important part of why they're leading. Van Vliet outside. Back to Brooks. Outside. Green. A 
Outside for Brooks. To the middle. Can't finish the lob. That is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers it home. Bain, the pass to Moran. Here's the Rivia. Fires the three. That one doesn't drop. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Now here's Van Vliet. Shangoon, a screen on Moran. Back to Shangoon. And Shangoon throw it down. When you watch Van Vliet, he's in total control of the offense. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. Their defense is only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Jackson. Outside, Williams. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Shangoon's got his seventh rebound here tonight. You know, Grant and Van Vliet, they've got a guy who's been through everything in this league. Yeah, B.A. Van Vliet's seen it all. He's won a championship. He's been in the All-Star game. He's been on a last-place team. But no wonder nothing seems to phase him. And so it's Memphis with it, following the score by Houston. Van Vliet outside. Shoots over Moran. And too long on the shot. Well, he just doesn't have it right now. It's as simple as that. And his team is struggling as a result. Pass to LaRavia. Bain against Green. Jackson the screen. From deep, Bain. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Smith's got four rebounds now. On the wing, Green. And stolen by Bain. Here's LaRavia. And he hammers it home to polish off the break. Well, look, Bain gets the steal and sends them on their way. He can be such a menace on defense. And we've got a timeout called by Ime Udoka. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. Well, if you went into the lab and created the perfect wing, it might be Desmond Bain, coach. Well, Brian, this guy's so strong. He can guard bigger guys, and his three-point numbers are crazy. Desmond Bain, well over a 40% three-point shooter for his career. So it's the Rockets now. Van Vliet finds Brooks. And stolen by Moran. And up the court come the Grizzlies on the break. Fires the three. Brooks with the rebound. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. And seems really frustrated. Van Vliet, the pass to Brooks. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Back to Van Vliet. Five to shoot. For three, Smith. Memphis with a rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Jackson, the pass to Laravia. Here's Moran. Here's Laravia. On the wing, Bain. Jackson, the screen from 18 feet away. And the basket by Bain. Bain's got seven points in the game. These are shots Bain will take from time to time when that's where the openings are. Shangun against Jackson. Shangun passes to Brooks. Banked it in off the glass. Brooks has got four points now in the quarter. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Morant, the pass to Laravia, and the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. That's foul number two for him, and a vital mission for the NBA, mental health. Commissioner Silver has said it's the most important issue for the league. And I applaud Adam for those comments he's made about it. I mean, the season is so difficult. It can really take a toll on your mind. 
So it's great the league is trying to help players out through this. Jackson with a screen on Thompson. Smart against Thompson. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Well, Smart is known as a very physical player. You almost think he welcomes getting hit while shooting. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Well, they've clearly been focused on getting the ball inside. And up to this point, the defense has not had an answer. And we can't forget about how ferocious they've been cutting to the rim, just going right at defenders and finding ways to finish. Good on the second one. Well, Smart is a relentless competitor whose impact always goes beyond the box score. The league could always use more players like him. Now here's Van Vliet. Smith finds Van Vliet with the floater. 4-3. And there's Smith. That one's good on the assist from Van Vliet. And showing off that ability to stretch the floor. Seems like everyone is a threat at the arc these days. From deep, Morant. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Thompson outside. Smith outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Memphis leading by 18. Here's LaRavia. The offensive rebound. Morant, no good. The Rockets have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Shangun with it. Jackson in his pocket. Shangun in the post. Jackson on him. Van Vliet right side. From down in the low post, it goes. Well, Van Vliet likes to work up close and personal at the basket. Always ready to take it inside. Morant, the pass to Jackson. And here's Smart. Outside Morant. Pass to Jackson. Good. And the setup by Morant. Morant's got assist number five here tonight. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You time must out, stay out. aggressive. Yeah, they're being absolutely Smart. relentless. Building this lead in every way possible. And we've got a timeout called by Ime Udoka. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. So for the Rockets, Landale's checked in for Alper and Shangun. Whitmore comes in for Smith, and it's Shepard in for Van Vliet. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Here's Whitmore. Pass to Landale. Inside. Whitmore with it. Jackson on him. And it's going to be a three-second call. And with a pause in the action, here we have the best rebounding teams from last year. The Rockets fourth. Their effort on the boards was a point of pride for them. They play a physical style, and it served them well. Memphis making a switch here. Canards checked in. Grizzlies lead by 19. Rose outside. Jackson the screen. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. Well, it's not going to get any easier if they can't improve their defensive intensity. They can show some fight. I guess you don't need two hands when one will suffice. Hey, as long as you don't lose control. Eason against Jackson. Pass to Smart. Jackson, the screen. And he's going for the lob. Easton with a steal. Thompson with it. Guarded now by Smart. Thompson passes to Easton. 
Back to Thompson. Stolen by Kennard. Up top, Jackson. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Well, Stan, LeBron James is widely regarded as one of the most intelligent players in the league. Who else stands out to you as far as basketball IQ? Oh, Brian, that's a tough question. There's so many of them. What's up? Nikola Jokic, Luka Doncic. There's just so many intelligent guys in this league. Fans that think it's all about athleticism don't understand how intelligent the best players are. Houston has gone one of four here in the third from range. To the inside. Here's Whitmore. And that one's good. Whitmore's got six. Able to get a layup out of that one. That's just soft defense there. Pass to Jackson. Here's Edie. Rose outside. Here's Jackson. Whitmore defending. And here's Shepard for three. Memphis with a rebound. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, I get it. But you don't want him forcing things. It's better to get your shots within the flow of the offense. Now here's Smart. He's got nine. Thompson with the block. Decent reach and solid instincts, allowing Thompson to get a hand on it. Here's Shepard, guarded by Rose. Down low. And stolen by Jackson. Pass to Rose. 119 left in the third quarter. And here's Smart. Had the space there, but it's offline. Well, if you give him that shot again, I'm willing to bet he nails it. Especially with that lack of defensive effort. And that one's good. Whitmore. He's trying to will this team back into it. Doing all he can offensively. Pass to Edie. The shot goes as the ref calls the blocking foul. And he's on his way to the line. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Spencer's checked in for Clark. What's up? And the free throw, no good. Their lead could be even bigger right now. But their efficiency from the line has dropped off a little. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. And so it's Rose with it. He brings it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They lead by 17. Pass to Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. Rose finds Jackson. Three-pointer, no good. Houston has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. If you can, use up the clock and route to the last shot. Yeah, but if you get an open look, you got to think about taking it no matter how much time is left on the clock. Get there, get there. Here's Shepard. No good there with a step back, Jay. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. Yeah, quality offense will serve you well in the long run. You can't settle for bad shots. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies up 19 points as the quarter comes to a close. Really mucking it up on defense. Active hands, multiple efforts, forcing turnovers. We'll be right back after this word. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Well, he really just helps tie this team together. They know they can count on him to set them up.
And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. On the court for Memphis, Brandon Clark out there with Jackson. Then there's Derrick Rose. Then there's Marcus Smart. And it's Pippen in at the two. Great find. Leading his teammate right to the bucket. Grizzlies lead by 17. Here's Smart. Come to me, come to me. Nails the baby hook. And the Grizzlies lead by 19. Going to work in the lane. Smart's tough in there. Pass to Landale. Now here's Thompson. Here's Shepard. There's the three. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got four rebounds in the game. To the paint. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Look at Smart. This guy can really fly. Here's Shepard. Looking to get it going. And the shot's good. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Well, Memphis shooting it at 61%. A terrific average. There's a screen. Here's Rose. And slammed it home. And a foul. A chance at another point at the line. It's going to be on Tari Eason. Oh, some explosive stuff from Rose right at the rim. Showing these young boys how ferocious he can still be. Houston making some changes. Steven Adams comes in for Landale. And Holiday subbed in for Shepard. And we all know about Stan the analyst and Stan the coach. But when you played in college, what was your game like, Stan? Hey, Brian. I, I had the game that would get you beat as a coach. I will say my greatest strength was this. I was never once accused of overpassing. The black hole. That is Stan Van Gundy. And attacking with reckless abandon. Somehow Thompson able to get through. And the Rockets making a change here. Shepard's checked in. And what I like about Thompson, along with the high-level athleticism, he has a high-level feel for the game. Smart outside to the middle. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. It's those kind of passes that bring up the entire team's confidence. Eason a screen on Rose. Here's Shepard. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. A surprising athlete. Shepard's just 6'3", but he can get up there and stuff it. Here's Rose. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to be on Tari Eason. Stan, there are lots of loud arenas in the NBA. What was the toughest place for you to win? Well, Brian, it was against whoever had the best players on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Alper and Shangoon's checked in for the, the Rockets. Way. Green Good comes stop. in for Shepard. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Desmond Bain comes in for Pippen. And that one falls for Rose. You know, it's great to see Rose out there. After all those injuries, Derek still has a passion for the game. Green against Rose. Green, the pass to Shingun. And he lobs it up to the rim. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Here's Bain. And the big dunk at the end of the break. And the coaching staff loves the defensive intensity. And Rose proving to be a nuisance grabbing a steal. And it's Green with the ball for Houston. Thompson outside. Eason against Clark. Outside, Green. Six to shoot. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. 
I love it. What concentration. Green taking the contact well and converting with confidence. Pass to Bain. And here's Jackson to the inside. Here's Rose. Smart outside. Puts up a deep three. Rebounded by Green. Green's got five rebounds tonight. Now here's Whitmore. Takes a three. And that comes off the assist by Green. And that's just an all-around talent there. I mean, Green is dependable at finding his open teammates. Pass to Clark. Here's Jackson. And he gets it to go. Again, it's Jackson Jr. His combination of size and shooting can be deadly. Now Green. Shangun, a screen on Rose. And Shangun throw it down. Well, that's what you want. Get him the ball and see if he can close the gap. Pass to Bain. Back to Smart. Out to Rose. Jackson on the wing. Rose outside. Goes up on the wing. It's rebounded by Shangun. Rockets trail by 19. Eason, the pass to Thompson. Pass to Shangun. Over Rose. It's rebounded by Memphis. Smart has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Rose, defended by Eason. Outside Bain. Clark with a screen on Green. Bain, the pass to Clark. And here we go, the Rockets in transition. And it's hammered home by Green. And that's just outstanding work in transition. Green knowing where he needs to get to in these spots. And timeout called by Taylor Jenkins. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. Houston making some changes. Smith, he's checked in for Eason. Brooks comes in for Whitmore. And Van Vliet is subbed in for Thompson. Memphis leading by 17. Morant with it. Pass to LaRavia. On the wing, Bain. Covered by Smith. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the look they want. It's tough work in the mid-range area. Van Vliet. Van Vliet controls the rebound and the putback. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Jackson with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Morant. Oh, putting on a show for the fans. Morant's skills making it look like a circus in here. Outside, green. Pass to Smith. Brooks outside. Now, here's Green. Williams defending. Jumps up. And Williams punches it home. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And that is why you want to run off turnovers. Get down the floor before the defense is set. Here's Van Vliet. After the basket by Memphis on the other end. It's good. Van Vliet's gotten four this quarter. Yeah, what a touch on the shot from Van Vliet. Just easing it into the hoop. Outside Bain. Back to Morant. Hey, heads up. Right here. Bain with a screen on Van Vliet. Down low. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. <laughs> B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, and absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Now here's Green. Pass to Van Vliet. I 
see him. I see him. Come on, shoot. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Just an active score. Defenses know when Van Vliet is looking to capitalize, forcing them to compromise sometimes. Free throw good from Van Vliet. And the big X factor Van Vliet brings to the team is leadership. He's very talented at setting a good tone out on the floor and organizing his guys. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Morant. Outside, Williams. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Van Vliet, the pass to Smith. Back to Van Vliet. And the dunk by Van Vliet. Woo, wait. Big finish. Big time. And man, did they need that. You can tell he's trying to get him going with that dunk. Yeah, he saw the opportunity to finish with some authority, trying to fire his guys up. They get the rebound. Well, he's trying to shoot his way out of it from distance, but look, he's got to find something easier. Shangun in the post. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Grizzlies lead by 12. Yo, back up on Morant. Outside Morant. Jackson with a screen on Van Vliet. Pass to Jackson. Shoots over Shingoon. And another miss by Memphis. Houston has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Green for three. And it's Laravia with a rebound. Laravia's got six rebounds here tonight. Well, and after making just one triple going into the break, he's still looking for his first make from distance here in the second half. Yeah, good touch from Jackson Jr. Ready to score inside when given these opportunities. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, over the break, I listened to Ime Yudoka's huddle, and it was a frustrated huddle. Coaches and players were angry about the turnovers. Players trying to hold each other accountable. They're fed up with sloppy play. Let's see how they respond. Guys. Okay, thanks, Allie. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. Pass to Laravia. Jackson with it. Defended by Shingun. From seven, Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got nine points here in the second half. A nice bit of muscle there from Jackson Jr. to get the inside score through contact. Outside, Green. A deep three. Memphis with a rebound. Laravia's got rebound number seven tonight. Memphis leading by 16. Pass to Moran. Now Williams. Brooks defending. Back to Morant. Jackson with a screen on Van Vliet. Six on the shot clock. And the dunk by Jackson. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. Yeah, and at this point in the game, just protect the ball, make smart decisions, don't give them a chance to get back in the game. A nice shot by Smith. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Grizzlies. They paid the price for sloppy ball control before, but tonight they kept it locked up tight. Yeah, they did. And at the other end, they were very disruptive defensively. And this one concludes with their second victory of the year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them, but it must feel great to take the first meeting.
And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Jaron Jackson. Well, he came out with great energy Take and effort, doing break. everything Two he shot. could possibly do to help his team. And that one falls for Jackson. Rim protection and shooting, so important. Jaron Jackson Jr. has both of those skills, Stan. Yeah, and look, Brian, it's rare to find guys who can do both of those things. Shot blocker at the rim and stretch the defense at the other end. Guys like that are hard to come by. He's been a defensive player of the year. Maybe we'll see him in the three-point contest one day. And how about Jaron Jackson Jr.? Another second-generation player that we have here in the NBA. Yeah, Brian, and his dad was a winner at every level. He was a high school champion, had the number one team in college, and, of course, was part of a championship team with the Spurs. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Jackson, the screen. Here's Pippen. Jackson outside. Shot clock at five. That's good from Jackson. On the assist by Clark. And the Grizzlies lead by 16. Here's Shepard. Pass to Thompson. Going inside. Oh, he packs it down. That is incredible. Yeah, Shepard has a knack of getting his teammates open looks. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pippen, the pass to Jackson. Clark against Eason. Jackson down low. Uneasy two on the layup. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let... Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Stan Van Gundy, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time.